Hello everyone. My name is Ali Akbar. Today we are going to discuss about an important part of any automobile that is chassis. Today we are going to study about the chassis and we will discuss the different types of chassis that are available in the market. So let us start. First thing first, let us discuss what is chassis. When engine transmission system steering and wheels are fitted on the frame the assembly is known as the chassis the chassis is the backbone of the vehicle it is a vehicle without the body the chassis contain all the major units necessary to propel the vehicle the vehicle can be driven after placing the driver seat on chassis chassis of an automobile consist of following components first engine which is this one second wheels radiator transmission system consisting of clutch which is over here gearbox universal joint propeller shaft differential and rail axle then suspension system is also a part of chassis then steering system is a part of chassis brakes and fuel tank this all component constitute one chassis of an automobile thus we can say that the chassis contain all the major unit necessary to propel the vehicle so the vehicle can be driven after placing the driver seat on chassis an example of a chassis is shown over here as you can see in this figure if you can somehow place a driver seat over here you can actually drive this whole car another example of a chassis is over here this is a frame and all the different components that we have discussed earlier are placed in on the frame to form a chassis of a vehicle you can actually drive this one chassis is a french term which was initially used to denote the frame part of main structure of a vehicle it is now extensively used to denote the complete vehicle except body for heavy vehicles with separate body for light vehicles of mono construction type having body integral with frame next let us discuss how we can classify the different types of chassis chassis that are present in the market chassis can be classified according to its control it can be classified based on the location of engine it can also be classified according to the drive and last but not the least chassis can also be classified based on the number of wheels and number of driving wheels let us go with the first classification of chassis which is according to its control now according to its control chassis can be classified further as full forward chassis in this type of chassis engine is fitted in front of driver seat or in driven cabin it is usually used in cars and old models of tata trucks since driver sits behind the engine the driver cannot see the road just in front of front wheel hence slope is provided at mud guard and bonnet so that the driver can see close to the wheels as far as possible further in this type of chassis Passengers or goods cannot be carried in portion of the chassis where engine is fitted. An example of full forward chassis is shown in this figure. Uh, as you can see, the engine part is uh, fitted in front of the driver compartment, and the driver is seated behind it. Next, according to its control, chassis can also be classified as semi forward chassis. In this type of chassis. engine is fitted in such a way that half of it is placed in driver compartment and half in front of driver compartment hence extra passengers or goods can be placed in the portion of chassis this chassis are used in standard and bad ford pickups and tata mercedes trucks an example is shown in this figure as you can see a portion of the engine is fitted in the front whereas other part is fitted uh, in the driver compartment the third classification according to its control a chassis can also be known as the bus chassis 
in this type of cases engine is fitted inside the driver cabin therefore extra space of cases can be utilized to increase floor area to accommodate extra three seats this cases also allow the driver to see the road just in front of the front wheel as well as to make driving easier and trouble free compared to full forward type cases an example of bus cases as we can see in this figure the engine uh, is fitted in the driver cabinet right beside the driver over here also this is an also an example of a bus cases now going back to our classification so far we have discussed that cases can be classified according to its control and the classification according to its control are full forward cases semi forward cases and bus cases now second type of classification of cases is according to its location of engine now let us discuss about it now based on the location of engine cases can further be classified based on engine fitted at front conventionally in most of heavy vehicles the engine fitted at front of the cases however there are three options of drive which are available for engine fitted at front first engine fitted at the front and the drive to wheel is provided from the rear wheels meaning front engine rear wheel drive second option is engine fitted at the front and the drive is also provided to front wheel meaning front engine front wheel drive and third option is engine fitted at the front in the crosswise manner and the drive is also provided to front wheel an example of engine fitted at front is shown in this figure as you can see engine is fitted in the front now based on the location of engine the cases can further be classified based on the engine fitted at rear as we can see in this figure the engine of for this vehicle is fitted at the rear end of the vehicle today most of the vehicle most of the buses or transport system that we use uh, have the engine uh, have their engine fitted at the back end of the vehicle even more even most of the sports car that we use, uh, that we see today have their engine fitted at the rear end of the vehicle the third category for based on the location of engine is engine fitted at center most of the f1 racing cars have their engine fitted at the center right below the driver good now going back towards the classification of cases we have so far discussed according uh, the classification based on the based on its control now right now we discuss according to the location of engine that is engine fitted at front engine fitted at rear engine fitted at center the next classification of cases is according to its drive so let's move forward with that now according to drive the cases can be further classified as front wheel drive in this type of cases layout the engine is either fitted at front or at the back let us consider the case where engine is fitted at the front the engine is fitted at front and drive is also given at the front wheel as shown in the figure no propeller shaft is used in this layout and differences are included in the same assembly this layout provides optimum body luggage space and flat floor line however due to all assemblies at front it makes it make it makes very difficult to accommodate the steering mechanism next according to drive the cases can further be classified as rear wheel drive in this cases layout the engine is fitted at front and drive to the wheel is from the rear wheel the engine clutch and gearbox are fitted at front wheel front while drive to the rear axle is given with the help of propeller shaft as shown in the figure which is this one this cases layout is one of the oldest layout and still remains popular for heavy commercial vehicles now according to drive the third type of classification in which you can divide the cases are all wheel drive 
In this type of chassis layout, the engine is fitted at the front or in the back and the drive is given to both front wheel as well as the rear wheels. So the differential will be present at the front as well as at the back. The fourth and the fifth category according to drive is left hand drive and light hand drive. Where the driver is seated on the left hand of the vehicle, then it is known as the left hand drive, whereas the driver when it is seated on the right hand side of the vehicle, it is known as the right hand drive. Left hand drive is uh, is used in the western countries like Canada and USA, whereas the right hand drive is more popular in European countries and Asian countries like India, China, Pakistan. Now going back towards the classification of chases, we have now discussed according to the drive. According to drive, the chases can be classified as front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, left hand drive and right hand drive. The last classification, uh, the last classification of chases is, is based on number of wheels and number of driving wheels. Basically, uh, the chases can be classified based on 4 by 2 drive chases where the, the number of wheels of vehicles are 4 whereas the power given to the wheels are 2. So there are 2 driving wheels. 4 by 4 drive, in 4 by 4 drive chases there are 4 wheels and the power is also given to the or to all of the wheels. And the third category is 6 by 2 where the vehicle has 6 wheels when the power uh, that drives that vehicle is given to the 2 wheels only. Thank you very much. If you have any doubts related to this topic or related to any other topic, let us know in the comment section or you can email us on our email id institute at gmail.com. In the next lecture, we are going to discuss about the transmission system. If you liked our effort, please hit like and subscribe button below and share this lecture with your colleagues. Thank you. See you next time. Till then, have a nice day.